So I think it'd be a good idea for us to talk about uh, the manager situation, uh, or possibly I should say by now, lack of manager. Um, um, James, would you like to start off with uh, your thoughts on this? Well, let just make it clear that I am definitely pro Warburton. That's what I will say to start off with. Um, I just don't understand what is going on. It's like, I've, I think I've said it on the podcast before, but I, I just like stability at QPR. It's just nice, just ticking along. I don't think finishing 11th was that bad. Um, I, I just feel like now we're just setting ourselves up for some kind of either downfall or demise or whatever you want to call it. I, I feel like if we just stuck with Warburton, would it really been that bad next season to have a similar season to this where we maybe tick along and we just maybe just outside the top six? What are we really aspiring for is a tough league. No one has a divine right to uh, be in the top six. I just think he's been a victim of his own success. I, I put a post up that if he'd just all season been 11th, 9th, 8th, 11th, 10th, around that period, I think he'd still be in a job. But because he's dipped from being nearly second to 11th, it looks like the, the, the graph's like that, is it, that I keep putting up. Um, I think he's been very harshly done by him. OK, Dave, do you feel the same? Yeah, it's so, I'll change my mind on this every 10 minutes, really. I, think, uh, I, I do like Wilburton. I just, I think, like, I think like you say, if we'd have kind of been in the same position all season, he'd probably been all right. I think if he still had another year of his contract, I don't think they would have sacked him. But I think to go from fourth in March to 11th and like complete, like not even look like winning a game for weeks, I, I can see why they haven't offered him a new deal. I think it's, it's, it's a really difficult one. If he stays on and we don't start next season well, they're probably going to have to make a change quite early in the season. Um, so maybe it's for, for the best for everyone if he goes now and um, they shake hands and it's kind of a fresh start. But I look at the contenders for the job and I think, they're no better than what we've got, well, what we had. So, oh, so I'm really torn on it. I, you know, there was the stories that come out last week about him not wanting to put the under-23 players in, which has obviously caused problems with Les Ferdinand and Chris Ramsey. Um, and even with that, I can see both sides of it. I think if you're going for promotion, you're not really going to want to throw in untried kids. But then on the other side, we kind of do need to bring players through like we have in previous years and sell them on because we can't every year buy ready-made players like Austin and Johansson. And, you know, unless you go up, that's just not feasible for the future. You can't keep doing that. You need to develop players. Um, so I think it's a, it's just such a difficult one. I, I like it. I'll probably change my mind by the time I finish talking, whether I'll you to stay or not. <laughs> it's, yeah, <laughs> it, you know, it's just been such a drop. But, you know, I think that's why they've done it, because of the, the drop in form and the way it happened. I think if you if you look at this as businessmen, and let's assume that that uh, you know we're dealing with businessmen here, uh, you're, you're absolutely right. If the uh, sales forecast is going like that all the time, and then suddenly drops off the shelf, uh, you know maybe, maybe that does look bad. Um, you know, but as James has said, eleventh is not that bad. I mean, last year to this year, um, you know, it, it, it's it's a bit of a it stayed the same. However. Um, we've had a, an unprecedented uh, season in terms of goalkeeper injuries, major injuries to key players. Um, if, if you take the fact that um, Dykes, when Dykes was injured, added to the injury list, um, the two uh, strikers brought in to, uh, to add extra zest and uh, vigour to the, to the scoring, they didn't take up the mantle at all. Um, and, and if you look at the goal distribution, in fact, for the, for the team, that was mostly coming from from the attacking midfielders, um, so it, it was a disappointment. Is that Warburton's fault? You know, I, I would say no. Um, should I should Warburton be given a second chance? Absolutely. Um, but I, I accept what you're saying that maybe it's better to do it now than come uh, December. I, I do accept that. But we won't, we'll never know now whether he could have made it till December and actually turned it around and, and, and got us into a winning way again. Who knows? Um, oh, it's a horrible one, this. Uh, James, uh, any thoughts on the new manager? Well, that's what I was about to add to what Dave was saying before. The list, is, to me, is so underwhelming. And, I, and yes. I do think this is a great argument. If you add Mark Warburton to the list of names, he goes straight in as odds-on favourite for the job. Yeah. He does. You're absolutely so right. You, you've 
you're letting go of the manager who you would hire if he hadn't just been your manager, really. I don't know. It, that, to me, stand, speaks volumes. Um, <laughs> and I know some people argue, oh, well, injuries aren't an excuse and all this stuff. But to me, the amount of injuries that he had were, there was a couple of games where he didn't have his first choice goalkeeper or any of his first choice defenders. He didn't have his player of the season. They, that will impact your team. And we haven't got the depth to, to yeah. cope with that. Um, I think he did have a valid excuse. He's made mistakes. I've questioned it myself about like Jeff Hendrick. Was it his, if that was his signing, that was a mistake. Why was he not even putting ball on the bench? Various questions you could ask. Why was he putting Sanderson back in after we'd been sent off and dropping Barbe? And there was a few things that are questionable. But overall, I, we, we, when you think of it, we finished eleventh. So we're thirty-first out of ninety-two teams in the football league. We're in the top third of teams QPR. Where do we really aspire to be? We're not spending millions and millions of pounds on players. What can we hope to achieve? The new guy, whoever it is, is on a hide into nothing in some ways because he now is going to have to finish higher than 11th or the fans <laughs> are going to say, you should have kept Warburton. We want him out. It's just it's going to become a vicious circle if he doesn't really hit the ground yeah. running in my view, but I don't know. I think it's... Sorry. Go on. Go ahead, no, I think, think it's something we'll we'll never know, but it depends. What did they agree with him last summer? They gave him the money for Austin, Johansson, Field, Device, and you know, not many of them have worked out. Field has worked out the other three of them. If they've said to him back then, you need to finish top six this year, and that's what they've gone for. That's you know, you can see why they've kind of let him go because they've drifted away from that. Yeah. It's, it's such a, a tough call though. Like say, I've looked at the names linked with us and. None of them jump out and think, oh, I really want him. I, I don't really know who they're going to go for, to be honest. You know what? I'd like to believe that they do know who they're going for because, I, like, <laughs> you, <laughs> like you, all I can see at the moment is a dartboard. And uh, you know, Soler's sitting there with the darts and saying, oh, who am I going to go for? Close mm -hmm. my eyes. It, it does worry me. It worries me a lot. Uh, maybe we'll be all surprised and, uh, and really delighted, but I somehow don't think so. Um, you know, I mean, I, I'm like like James. I really wasn't that keen on uh, changing uh, the last manager. When, you know, when Holloway was here and whatever, uh, then Warburton took over. Warburton's done a fantastic job year on year. He's done a great job. So in the last few months, he hasn't delivered. Um, he's had key players out with injuries. That hasn't helped. Um, it certainly hasn't helped the balance of the side. Um, and I. Yeah, I, I'm really a bit frustrated by what, how things are going. Totally stunned. We don't know if the uh, if the lone players were on some sort of play play uh, conditional thing. You know, they had to have at least six appearances at home or something. Uh, we we've no idea what was written into their contract to explain why sometimes uh, good players didn't get to play the next week. We've no idea um, because continuity is what makes a side, and, and we certainly didn't have that. Okay, right. Well, that finishes uh, uh, <laughs> that finishes our talk about the uh, the manager. I feel until we know more. Watch this space, I guess. Mm. You know who we are. You know who we are. We are QPR.